guys welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new so for today we're going to be doing a easy prom glam look so if you guys want to see how to get a really pretty easy and simple smoky no no flashback look then be sure to continue watching so now we're going to go ahead and start with the actual look so first we're going to go ahead and do my eyebrows you can start off with whatever step you do first but I usually like starting off with my eyebrows, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick time lapse of doing my eyebrows. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below because I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. So now we're going to go ahead and conceal them. I just like, you know, drew them in. So we're going to go ahead and conceal them using this black brush from just a pack from Amazon and then my concealer that I really love lately. It's the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear. This is in the shade Biscuit. Yeah, if you guys tried the KFC biscuits, those are really good. I'm going to go ahead and use this biscuit. I'm going to insert a picture here of a KFC biscuit and put them side to side. So, primarily. so I'm going to go ahead and put this on that small brush that I showed you guys. I really love this concealer, by the way. I recommend you guys to try it. It is from the drugstore and no flashback, so I recommend this one. I'm going to go ahead and conceal my eyebrows and make them look a little bit more sharp. My eyeshadow before I do my face makeup, so let's go ahead and start with the eyeshadow portion of it. For the makeup palette, we're going to go ahead and use my favorite palette, which, well, one of my favorite palettes because it's just beautiful. This is the Morphe X James Charles collaboration. This palette is super nice. And use that same concealer that I used to conceal my eyebrows as the biscuit concealer so we're gonna go ahead and put some a little bit on my eyelids not too much go ahead and blend this out with my finger but we're not gonna set it in now we're just gonna go ahead and touch a little bit more since I kind of took a long time doing this we're gonna use this brush here from the wet n wild collection I don't really know what the name of this one is but it looks like this it's flat so with that, we're going to use, can you guys see that? We're going to go ahead and use this color right here, which is the one, two, three, four. It's the fifth bear pan color. Just going to go ahead and take a little bit on that brush. A brown tone color. So you can go ahead and use any brown tone color you have. And we're going to focus this more on where you eye creases on the outer part of that eye. And we're going to go ahead and dab that in and wing it out just a little tiny bit, dragging that color out and dragging it upwards towards the crease of your eye and then towards the front. You're going to want to do this very lightly and in windshield wiping motions. that color out we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of a deeper brown by the way guys I try to think of a look that would kind of match with a bunch of dresses depending on what dress you're what color the dress you're wearing but you can always switch out this first transition color to whatever color dress you're wearing another fluffy brush this is just from Amazon as well and we're gonna take and use the shade that's next to the one that we just used that more deeper brown color okay so now with that color on my brush I'm gonna go ahead and only base that right on top of where my eyelid creases dabbing that in there right in my outer part and then bringing it forward just on that crease and then blending it a little bit more up Kind of looks 
looks like this, kind of. Kind of. And then this is where the eye can go really bad really fast. So be sure to have a very light hand while doing this. We're gonna go ahead and take more of a round top wet and wild brush. And we're gonna take the black color in his palette, which is the last big pan shade. And we're gonna go ahead and take the tiniest amount because the brush looks like this. And we're gonna go ahead and tap out the excess. And now, I'm gonna kind of scare for myself. We are gonna go ahead and dab this black color right on the outside. You can go ahead and stop right here because this color looks, this shade looks beautiful like this, but we're gonna try and get a little bit more tricky. Go ahead and put this on the outer crease. So we're gonna angle the brush and we're just outside. And kind of like dab it in a rubbing little type of motion, just in that same position, not rubbing it anywhere else. Okay, so now that it's there, we're gonna take that brush it used for the first transition brown color and we're gonna go ahead and blend that, dragging it out and blending it inside. And dragging it out. So, now that it looks like this, I'm gonna take a clean blending brush, also from the Wet n Wild collection. I really like these brushes, I don't know if you guys can tell. So clean, and we're gonna go, just gonna go ahead and blend this all together. And cut the crease. So using that same brush that I use for my eyelids and the same con biscuit concealer, we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease. Another small wet and wild brush ready for the glitter. For glitter, I'm gonna use this one at the top row, second to last, from left to right. That's the one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna have the brush ready with the glitter there. So for cutting my eyelid, I'm using a very small brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and tilt my head back and cut it kind of halfway. So starting from the middle, where my eye creases, we're gonna go ahead and cut that. And then taking that to the front. Look, just so you guys can get a feel of what it looks like with the inner tear duct. And now that that is done, we're gonna go ahead and take that same concealer that we used this entire time, Fisca concealer, and a brush like this one, and that concealer, and we're gonna go ahead and clean up what we used. You can always go ahead and use some tape, but since I don't have any, I don't have a problem with just cleaning it off. My favorite eyeliner from the drugstore as well. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise in just a black color so we're just gonna go ahead and do a simple winged eye with the eye 
this is what it looks like. Now we just have to pop on some lashes, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye real quick. And then I'm, best, I'm just gonna show you guys the lashes I'm gonna use. This is the Kish Couture Triple Push Collection. They look like this. So these are the lashes that I'm gonna be using. Now I have the lashes that I'm gonna put on. For that, for the base, we're going to use the Revlon Rose Glow Hydrating and Plus Illuminating Primer. primer because I do get oily so if you're oily be sure to prime your face all up. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Super old but obviously really good still. And then I'm going to apply this mostly where I get oily. If you guys don't get oily then you don't have to do this but... Obviously, we're going to go ahead and use the infallible for wear and biscuit. Now, my hands are like really smooth from like that, so I can't open this. Cream contour using a darker shade of the concealer, Fit Me Concealer. This is just in shade 30 Cafe. Just applies under my eyes and in my T-zone area. blend that all out using the Real Techniques sponge. Shade 30 in the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers to cream contour. blend it out and I look insane. Finally time for some foundation. For foundation I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation shaped Caramel. <laughs> Concealer Loose Finishing Powder in shade 30 Medium Deep. So we're going to go ahead and bake my under eyes with that sponge and we're just kind of like baking my under eyes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face with that just all over. sit there for a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face. This is formula light to medium bronze booster. This is what it looks like. It has a cute little sun pink on thing. 
It's kind of faded away though, but it looks adorable. The contouring brush from Wet n Wild. And just put this bronzer everywhere I put the cream contour. So using the BH Cosmetics Nude Rose Sculpting Glow Palette and we're going to go ahead and take that blush color in here using another Real Techniques brush. And then we're going to take the Real Techniques sponge and kind of blend this all together. So for highlight, we're going to use the James palette again and the color face. That one I memorized it because I love that one. under eyes using first the white shade to make your eyes pop out a little bit more so now I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on my lower lashes and I'm going to use my favorite mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, just on my bottom ones to make them pop. Some setting spray. So for lips, I'm using the Liquid Cat Sued from Wet n Wild. This is the shade Give Me Mocha. So this is just more of a nudish, reddish, brownish color. So just to match the lip. Or you can also do a glossy lip. I'm going to use the same Mega Liquid Katsu lipstick just in the shade Video Vixen. setting spray and that's it. Next spray we're going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray and we're just going to go ahead and give our face a spritz of that. Mostly drugstore just except for the palette but this is the final look. enjoyed watching this video if you did be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you guys try this look out and get inspiration in this look for your prom look be sure to let me down below because i'll be really happy if you did so yeah that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video